Hey, praise the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. God bless each and every one of y'all for tuning in today. And first of all, I want to give a little shout out to Laura Mapp. She sends me cards all the time, beautiful cards, and it just keeps me uplifted in my spirit, my heart. You know, I still have a hard time with my beloved Mariah. I, uh, I've been, I, I, got, I don't know if you can see this, but I had some cards made up called Mariah's Mission. And what we do is we, we help people with vet bills, uh, buy blankets, dog houses, and um, food. <laughs> for people who can't afford it for their dogs, but they gotta be legit to get, you know, I try to help the dogs out. And on the back, we got a picture of my Mariah and same thing on her tombstone. So that's, we have that there that we do for animals. It's for God's glory and Mariah's memory. Uh, in fact, I, I went and took on a little extra job. I don't get paid any money for it. I'm a volunteer. I work at an animal. Um, I do one day a week, sometimes twice a week. I work over an animal rescue center. And they got like 30, 40 dogs. Uh, we got horses. We got donkeys, um, chickens, mules. All kind of animals that we take in. Um, they're rescuing dogs like crazy over there. And we just got 12 dogs, good homes, and we, we make sure that the people that adopt the dogs, we check them out, we check the house out, and make sure that they keep the dogs inside, and they just kind of tie them outside, amen. So that's what I've been doing. I've been working over there at the animal, animal I would call it animal farm, it's animal rescue. And um, kind of gets my mind off the thing with my big girl, you know, Mariah. So anyway, today is February 19th, and it is 5.01, looks like on the clock. And uh, I just want to give you a little short message of what I think was happening right now. Okay, is the government taking advantage of God's wrath? I believe this freeze, this, this, this winter storm, if you will, or this freeze, is part of God's wrath. God's angry, and you're going to see some earthquakes this year. I, I, I tell you about the one in California coming, and I do believe that. Um, you're going to see um, food shortages. Food shortage is going to is going to is going to go up to to the sky in prices because the crops are being froze to death, and the cattle are being froze to death, and and the turkeys and the chickens and stuff like that, a lot of them are dying. And, and um, you know, so you're gonna see the food prices go up astronomically. So is the government taking advantage of the wrath of God? And how can I say that? Why, why would I say that? Well, I'll talk to you about that in a minute, but let me say this. Right now as I speak, while hundreds of thousands of Americans are out of jobs now since Joe Biden got in, we have hundreds of thousands of asylum seekers crossing our border, coming into America. That includes Islam and terrorists, if they don't know yet. And these people are bringing probably drugs and disease, sickness, and viruses. Not, not one of them not being tested. Not one of them being tested for COVID-19. But they want everybody else in America to, to get a shot. But the people coming over here, and they don't, they, 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 they don't care about the ones who are, who are coming over here illegal. They just open up the gates to them. Uh, hundreds of thousands of Americans are out of jobs. Unemployment in America is, is rising like a swollen Mississippi River. Like a swollen river is just rising. The, 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 the unemployment is rising. And it's going to get worse under Joe Biden. Kamala Harris said that... She wants to put a bill, or uh, 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 I guess it's a bill, a plan, a bill, where it would take the benefits basically away from our armed forces, away from the people that come from war, come out from from war, the people with their legs cut off and their arms cut off. She wants to cut their their funding off and their VA rights. She said they should get out and get a job and stand on their own two feet. How dare you, Kamala Harris? You say that about our armed forces, about our military men and women that went to war to fight for your freedom. 
And then she said that she should take that money that they can save it from giving to the vets, the VA, and give it to the illegal immigrants because they're poor and they need help. Oh, forget about the Americans. Forget about the Americans. While Biden closed down the Alaskan pipeline and caused hundreds of thousands of jobs, oil prices going up, well, guess what? This past week he made a deal with the Taliban, Obama's friends, our enemies. He made a deal with the Taliban to, to, for them to open up their pipeline and use their pipeline. Close our pipeline, but use their pipeline. Our pipeline's too dangerous. It can cause problems. It can cause leaks and, 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 and terror if it explodes. But well, okay, well guess what? You still gotta haul that oil that's coming from Saudi Arabia and, and, and the Middle East. You gotta haul it on trains and you park those trains in, in little towns, villages on tracks that leak. You gotta haul it by ship. You gotta haul it in with trains and rail which leaks. He just wants to destroy America, and he's doing a good job. He's not in office 30 days yet, and he totally destroyed us. He's just giving you the menu. You're reading the menu. You didn't get to eat it yet. It's going to get bad. Now, let me talk about what's going on in Texas. The winter freeze is just another part of God's wrath. God is angry. Okay? Oh! The green deal, the green way of living. Guess what? The windmills froze up. They don't work. They don't work. So your green deal don't work. When it's cold, super, super cold, the wind don't blow hard enough to, to turn those, those turbines, those windmills. And when it's super, super hot, the wind's not blowing hard enough to turn those turbines. So your green deal don't work. That's another failure. So let me talk about... Texas, the poor Texan people. Over four million Texan people, Texans, over four million Texans are out of electricity. I've seen on the news where their water pipes are broken in houses and apartments and water's just draining like floods off the houses, out of the houses. The houses are ruined. Their food is ruined, the icebox have no electricity. I've seen them standing in line on television and a long, long line like we did for Katrina and Hot Ball Sun in a cold, freezing rain and the ice with a little bucket just so they can get a bucket of water. Just to get a bucket of water. Where's Joe Biden? Oh, he's not over in Texas getting some kind of emergency deal with FEMA or somebody. No, the only thing he's worried about is striking a deal with the, a nuclear deal with Iran right now. That's more important than the people in Texas. Well, I wonder how you feel now, you Texans who voted for Joe Biden. I wonder how you feel now. And ladies and gentlemen, this is just a point that I, 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 I spoke with you a while back. If the people in Texas would have stocked up on food and water, batteries, they wouldn't be standing in line in that cold, freezing weather to get a bucket of water. That's why I'm saying stock, 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 stock up. We ran out of electricity the other day. Because the wires were frozen and they snapped and we was out of electricity for about 14, 15 hours. But guess what? We didn't have electricity. But you know what? I have, my, I have well water, which runs off electricity. And if you don't have electricity, you have no water. But guess what? I have water stored. Plenty of water stored. I have food stored. I have batteries, candles. I have propane stoves and propane tanks. I was prepared. And you people in Texas should prepare yourself and all through America prepare yourself because this is just a precursor of what's going to come. Now, I know that the weather caused some of that blackout, but how much of that blackout was caused by maybe perhaps the government? Oh, we're going to shut the, we're going to shut the uh, power off for a while. So we can control the people and weaken the people. First they gave you the mask. Now they give you the vaccine. Did they cut the electricity off now on those people? The power off on those people? A big state, Texas is the biggest state in America. 
that they said, well, we're going to control people now. We're going to cut off this uh, electricity. Is the government taking advantage of God's wrath? We won't know, will we? We won't know, will we? So where's Joe Biden? He's nowhere to be found. Now, if Donald Trump, the guy that y'all didn't vote for, I'm not talking about my people that follow us, this channel, I'm talking about all of y'all who voted against Trump because you didn't like him, just think if Trump was in office. No, he's not my God, he's not my mentor, he's not my savior, he's not my dad, he's not my uncle. So please don't write and tell me that, that he's not my he's savior, he's not God, blah, 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 blah. Keep your stupid comments to yourself. But if Donald Trump was in, guess what? He would already had 18 wheelers in there, or helicopters dropping food down. He'd have had 18 wheelers going there with food, water, blankets. He'd have probably had Franklin Graham's big trucks going in there. He would have had the Texan people fixed and taken care of. Oh no, but we got Joe Biden. Where's Joe Biden while you freezing? In your house, no electricity, no food, and your baby's crying in freedom. What's Joe Biden doing? He's in his pajamas, probably. Picking his nose somewhere. I think he's in Hawaii. Oh, no, but he wants to make a deal with Iran. Nuclear deal. Why don't he on the phone make a deal to get these Texans help? i tell you what. I wonder how you stupid Americans who voted for Biden feel, feel about him now. You're sorry he's in office yet? Oh, we'll give it time. Gas prices, gas prices, <laughs> probably 70 cents, 60, 70 cents, maybe a dollar a gallon more now since he's been in office. You need to prepare yourself. I can't, I can't. Tell the people, please, get you water, food, blankets. Man, you need to buy stuff and store up and stock up. Get your wood so you can build fire. Blankets, clothes, underwear, toothbrush, toothpaste, batteries, flashlights, store up because it's going to come a time. Especially now, since Joe Biden's in. He won't be in long. He won't be there long. Obama will see to that. And who's running the country right now? Obama and George Soros. Kamala Harris will be in soon because Joe Biden will be somewhere as in a home or in a wheelchair or who knows, man, on some kitty ride in a circus somewhere, or some, some amusement park thinking he's in the White House. Prepare yourself. Things are coming. While we're in a winter crisis, Joe Biden's looking to make a deal with Iran for a nuclear deal. We're in perilous times, as the Bible says in the book of Timothy. And that's pretty much basic the scripture that it's pretty much the scripture of, of, that I can go on. I read it to you last time. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent fears, despises of those that are good, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, without natural affection, and they're trying to take well, they're not trying to, but they're taking away your First Amendment. They don't want you to say him, her. They don't want you to say boy, girl. They don't want you to say... Um, now they're trying to wipe out the word um, alien. It's coming to a time, ladies and gentlemen. 
that we need to look up because your redemption draws nigh. The wrath of God is going to fall where it's this year and it did last year. We're only in 23 days, no, 19 days of the second month of 2021. Look what we have so far, a freeze. Four million people are out of electricity in Texas. That's not counting pe people that's in Louisiana and other places. God's angry. Straighten up. Look what's going on around you. And Kamala Harris is going to be the head persecutor against Christians. Because she has her boss man, Obama, behind her. All, almost all of the cabinet of Joe Biden are Obama's people when he was in office. So what does that tell you? Obama is the president. Things are going to get rough. Things are going to get bad. But God is our answer. God is our light. God is our protector and our shield. Focus your eyes upon God. And the rest of the world, while the rest of the world is in darkness, while the rest, rest of the world is in darkness, we have the light shine upon us. Let me see if I could find a picture here that I took the other day, if I could show it to y'all. Okay, hang on one minute, please. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But the other day, you know, I can't, yeah. Let me see if I can get this on for you some kind of way. This is what the Lord showed me. Let's see if I can get it on here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Anyway, the clouds around are dark. That's the world. And I was driving, and the Lord showed me this. He said, look, the world around the Christians, his people, his true people, it's a dark world. Spiritually dark. But you see that light breaking through the, the heavens? That's God's light shining on his people. His true followers, his true people are under his light. See how dark it is, the clouds? And that's God, God's light. See? I was driving on the highway the other day. And he showed me, he said, look at the clouds around. That spiritual darkness. He said, that spiritual darkness. He said, but my people are under my light. Try to get in there for you. That's it. You see it? God's glory shining from heaven upon his true followers, while the rest of the world are in darkness. The dark demons are around us. They surround us. But the light of God is upon us. The light shines upon his people. Blessed be the Lord God. Forever his name shall be praised. I want to thank you for tuning in. Oh, I cannot forget. Richard McLean out of Australia. He sent me beautiful artificial flowers for my girl Mariah's grave. And in fact, I'm gonna cut the film and I'm gonna go see if I can put it on and splice it in. I don't know how to do what my wife does. But I wanna say, Richard, she made me cry with joy, my friend, as she sent my, my big girl flowers for her grave. You touched my heart. They're beautiful. I thank you so much, man. You don't know what that meant to me. I cried when I opened up, and I cried when I put it in her vase. 
I'm going to go out there with the camera and I'm gonna take a picture of it and show it to you. Thank you so much, my friend, my brother. God bless you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. You don't know what that meant to me. That's my handkerchief from... She used to wear, she used to always get my handkerchief off my head. But thank you, my, thank you, my brother. God bless you, man. I appreciate you. Well, this is Jimmy Miller signing off, Trump of Truth Ministry. Be safe. Stay in touch with God. Talk to God every day. God does talk to man. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 524. God bless y'all. I love each one of y'all.